We cannot tackle the climate crisis without addressing racial inequalities. The exploitation of our planet's natural resources has always been tied to the exploitation of people of colour. The logic of colonisation was to extract valuable resources from our planet through force, paying no attention to its secondary effects. The climate crisis is in a way colonialism's natural conclusion. Black people breathe in the most toxic air relative to the general population. We are more likely to suffer from respiratory diseases like asthma. And it is people of color who are more likely to suffer in the climate crisis. This is no coincidence. The cheapest housing tends to be next to the busiest roads and many of the lowest paid jobs are in the most pollutant industries. People of color consistently lie at the bottom of the housing, educational and employment ladders. This story connects black communities across the world, from London to Lagos to LA. The solution is to build a new coalition made up of all the groups most affected by this emergency. Black people in American cities who are already protesting that they cannot breathe. People of color in Guyana watching sea levels rise to the point where many of their homes become uninhabitable. Young people in places like Tottenham, London, afraid of the world that they will grow old in, and progressive allies from all nations, of all races, religions, creeds, and ages on their side, all demanding recognition that climate justice is linked to racial justice, social justice, and intergenerational justice too. And let me say something about how we build this new movement and what it must look like. First, we need a recognition that the climate movement is not only about protecting the planet, it is primarily about caring for the people who live on the planet. Globally, as well as nationally, we need to recognize structural imbalances and inequalities. A radical green recovery plan should provide jobs to the people who've been disenfranchised for centuries. New jobs planting trees, insulating buildings, and working on green technologies. Educate yourself, join great movements that recognize the links between climate and race. And finally, racial injustice and climate injustice are both rooted in the evil notion that some lives are more important than others. We cannot tackle the climate crisis without addressing racial inequalities. And we cannot solve racial inequalities without fixing the economic system. The new deal the economy needs is not only green, it's green and black. 